Now the question is again a CBSC previously examination question asked in the CBSC examination 2008, an important one. It says find the probability distribution of number of doublets, number of doublets in four throws of a pair of dice. So four throws means n is four independent trials. Okay, next doublets. Doublets means you get either one one or two two or 3-3 three, three, or 4-4 four, four, or 5-5 five, five, or 6-6. Six, six. That means both numbers should be same on the pair of die that you are considering. So how many cases in all? 6 cases out of the 36. So the doublets is favorable to me. So it is success for me. So P is 1 over 6. Now for P and Q you have to watch the previous video. I write solution and directly start with it. N is 4 because 4 throws. R is what we have to consider let's wait for it then p is the probability of success which is 1 by 6 because 6 over 36 q is the probability of failure which is 1 by 5 by 6 1 minus 1 by 6 now these are the different things that we have to consider and now since there are four throws and we have to go for whole probability distribution we will see that r is 0 r is 1 R is 2, 3 that we have to see. That means 3 should not be the last. 4 throws are there. So 4 will be the last. So this is the whole story. Let's start. What are we waiting for? So if I have x and p of x. So x is once 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. What about p of x? n c r p raised to the power r q raised to the power n minus r is the formula. So, n c r p raised to the power r q raised to the power n minus r is the formula. Here also n c r p raised to the power r q raised to the power n minus r where this is 3. Next n c r p raised to the power r, q raised to the power n minus r. Here, n c r, p raised to the power r, q raised to the power n minus r. Last but not the least, n c r, p raised to the power r, q raised to the power n minus r. I am just uh, vanishing because 4 minus 4 will give me 0 in the power. Anything raised to the power 0 is 1. Now, this is not the final answer. You have to simplify it as a whole. See, 4C0 is what? It is nothing but NC0. Here you write what is NC0. So, this is 1. Even NC0, NCN both lead to 1. So, this is 1. So, this becomes 5 by 6 whole raised to the power 4 here. What about this part? This is nothing but 4. Multiply by 1 by 6, multiply by 5 by 6 whole cube, you want, you can cancel certain things and then leave the answer. Here you see, 4C2 you can solve. What is 4C2? This is nothing but 6. So, 6 multiplied by 1 by 6 whole square, multiply by 5 by 6 whole square. Your wish, whatever you want to do. Then this is 4 multiplied by 5, multiply by 1 by 6 whole raised to the power 4. And similarly, last but not the least, you can leave the answer upon solving. So, this is 1, raise, 1 upon 6 whole raised to the power 4. So, even if you want, you can simplify it in the other manner. Like you can cancel the 6s if you want to. This is already and almost done. It is all up to you how you simplify. But the main thing is that you don't follow the incorrect approach. And this has been missed. What is n? What is r? What is p? What is q? I have not written it, but I have explained it. So, you have to write it on your own.